Hello everyone, so welcome back to Angelic Tarot's website. Thank you so much for visiting. And we're gonna do the general reading, um, general weekly reading. Um, I haven't been here in a while, so I wanted to hop back on. And we're gonna go ahead and begin. So I'm gonna shuffle my cards. I'm gonna uh, pull angel cards here, and then we're gonna get to the reading, okay? So we're gonna start with the angel cards. I'm using the Doreen Virtue Daily Messages, I think that's what it's called. Daily Guidance from the Angels. So we are shuffling, and the first card we've got is Assertiveness. And it says, the situation can be healed gently and with love, as you have requested. You've requested, yet there is also a need for your strength and trust, worth, trust truthfulness. I can't talk. Um, with the other people involved, we will stand right behind you as you speak your truth, giving you, or str giving you strength and guiding your words. So this week, a need, the angels are really telling us that we need to be assertive. Um, it could be a person that, need, that you need to be assertive with, a situation that you may need to get a little bit more um, aggressive with this week, a little bit more tougher um, because the, it, it's, the situation is not moving as you would like and there's a need to kind of give it a little bit of a push. So that's the first message for this week, okay? I'm going to pull a symbols card um, for the week as well. And this one flipped over and it's the gift card. I love it. Okay. So there is a gift coming to us this week. And the gift can come in any way, uh, shape, or form. Okay. So there is a gift. Oops, this almost fell here. There's a gift coming. And there's a blessing. All right. So it's kind of like trying to keep your eyes open to that blessing. Sometimes we don't recognize it as such, um, but I feel like it's coming. And I'm drawn to the red in the in this box, little gift. Um, it may have to do with the root chakra, so it may have to, it may come to you with maybe through money, maybe through um, something that you were feeling a little bit insecure about or unsure about, um, I feel like you're gonna get that gift. And it's something that you're gonna feel, um, you're going to feel a lot better with, okay? All right, so let's, from this other deck it's the messages from heaven communication cards and I have we are proud of you and aware of your achievements I love it so this to me is goddess Ochun energy with the peacock and peacock is beauty peacock is representing a pride and beauty and you're gonna feel happy about something or proud of something that you will obtain this week um, and Goddess Ochun is the goddess of love. She's the goddess of sweetness. And she's coming up this week as this beautiful peacock's symbol um, to sh share with you that there is something that you're going to be proud of, that you're going to feel very happy about, okay? And then for this week's reading, I'm going to be working with the Queen of Earth. Um, the Queen of Earth, the Good Tarot. I'm gonna do the Good Tarot for this week. So um, before we go to that, I want to do a Truth Bomb, and this is Volume Two. I have Volume One and Volume Two. I just got Volume Two this weekend. I'm so excited about it. I love it. So we're gonna pull a card from here for affirmation of the week of what we should focus on. What's the Truth Bomb for the week? And then we're gonna go into the reading with the Tarot. All right, all right, let's see. This one is jumping right here. And it's your self-expression is a great service to the world. Your self-expression is a great service to the world. So there's a need to be very expressive, you know, not to be afraid of expressing yourself. Because by you expressing and being assertive, you're going to be of service to someone else, 
maybe directly or indirectly, okay? And then we're going to do the reading with the Good Tarot, which I just got this weekend and I'm super duper excited about. I've been waiting for this deck for since June of last year. I'm not kidding you because I love Colette Baron Reed. So we're going to do the general reading for the week, focus of the week. Uh, the first week of April, can't believe it already, right? First week of April already. So, um, let's see. So let's look at the general energies for the week. I'm going to pull these here and then we're going to start pulling the four cards. I'm going to pick them out of random from the deck. And this one wanted to come up as an extra message. Okay, let's see. That was the extra message there. So general energies of the week. Um, we have the nine of fire. Okay, so this is the nine of wands. And what this card is all about is precaution. Um, it is a card that talks a lot about that there's a, there is an obstacle that may set us back this week. Um... However, we have the ability to, to move forward and to, to pass or overcome the issue. Um, it's just that there is this setback that I'm seeing with this card. It's like a little setback, like a little rock in the road um, that may come up and it's going to be important to be positive. It's going to be important to be optimistic and to not feel... Um, disappointed okay so that's the first card the second card I have is hidden information for the week and I have the six of air six of swords so this card talks about traveling it talks about traveling it talks about moving forward um, there is some important information coming with this setback or this obstacle that's gonna help us move forward in general so it's kind of odd right because it's going to make us step back however the six of swords is a card of travel of moving forward of after a period of obstacles you're finally seeing improvement or you're going to start to see some sort of light at the end of the tunnel so there is going to be movement here and things are going to move forward okay there's also a trip that's going to be very favorable that you can go to if you're able to plan a trip or go like plan a little getaway it's going to be very important that you do so because it's going to help this issue directly or indirectly okay maybe feeling helping you with your stress maybe helping and you know an energy level etc obstacles I have is the two of wands so the two of wands could be twin flame energy and you know it could be with your partner this week you may have a little bit of obstacles this week or a disagreement um, any type of partnerships this week you do want to be careful with um, being extra careful the two of wands can represent partnership unions of any kind so there may be some little bit of obstacles. Be careful who you partner up with this week. If you're going to do business with someone or you're going to partner with someone in any way, just be very careful with that because there may be some sort of obstacle. Now, one of the things I'm drawn to this card is the giraffe. And the giraffe to me is about being able to see from a better perspective. So you're going to have a better perspective of a partnership. I'm sorry about the screaming in the background. Um, you're going to be able to see better from a, from a higher point of view, a situation regarding a partnership or an association. Okay. And it may be this little rock in the, in the path here that we're seeing that may come up. So you may find out about a partnership that is going to bring a little bit of obstacles. And then the resolution of the week. I love it. The fortune wheel, the wheel of fortune. So there's a change of luck, there's a change of fate for the better in the backdrop of all this, okay? So don't take, when this obstacle comes up, try to not let that hinder you or make you feel sad or down because at the end of the day, it's going to shift you to the better um, 
like a better perspective of the whole situation. There is a change for the better, a very drastic and big change. And then I'm pulling this one that jumped out and we have the justice card, which is justice, balance, if you have any legal issues, paperwork, lawyers, anything regarding law, um, there is some shifts for the better this week coming. There's a need to be careful with anything you say or do, um, but also know that there may be a minor setback. However, there is justice coming in. Archangel Michael energy is coming in with this card, showing us that at the last minute, there's justice coming to the situation and balance. Beautiful and powerful reading. Um, I like that reading. It was really powerful. It was interesting. I like the Six of Swords energy because to me that's like a trip or something that's going to move on a very beautiful energetic way. The bottom card underlying energy is the Messenger of Water. This is the Knight of Cups. This could be a proposal, okay, an invitation, an interview that you may receive um, or you may get, okay, from someone this week. So that's coming up from that one. The underlying from the other deck is this one right here from the messages of heaven. Seek professional help if you need to. All will be well. So you may need to seek someone that is in a higher position, someone that maybe is a lawyer or someone that's in a higher authority position to be able to help you with this minor issue or obstacle that may come up this week. Okay. The underlying from the symbols deck is the grounded card, okay? There's a need to be grounded. There's a need to do grounding meditation this week. To stay grounded is going to be very important, okay? And then the underlying from the angels is be honest with yourself, okay, in a situation. Uh, look into your heart and you will know the truth of the situation, it is safe to admit the truth to yourself, for we will support and guide you through any necessary changes. Lean upon us for courage and the strength to take care, good care of yourself. Focus only upon you, your true desires, and they will come upon, come to you, upon, you upon angel wings. So it's important to be honest about something this week and to really see what it is that it, you want or what it is that you want to work on or manifest or do in a situation um, is what we're seeing with this card okay so I have a I have a good sale going on in my both shops I will pull put the links in the description for both of my shops if you're interested in a one-on-one -on -one reading with me um, I will pull the links there and I will also share the monthly reading I have for April. If you're interested in getting that, um, I will put it there as well. Angel blessings. I will see you next week. Big hugs.